Well, for more on the future of blockchain and business, let's bring in Sean Stein-Smith. Sean is an assistant professor at Lehman College at City University of New York. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Now, most people were introduced to blockchain when the cryptocurrency Bitcoin first hit the headlines. So what is it that blockchain brings to the table as a technology? Sure. So, so really, the, the core of the whole blockchain idea is that it's a decentralized ledger or tool that then uh, helps the individuals and institutions that are a part of that network store and transmit information on a continuous basis and to do so in a way that, up until now at least, has been unhackable. Now, while several countries are skeptical about cryptocurrencies, they seem much more confident in the blockchain technology. Will it ultimately outlast cryptocurrency? I would say so, yes, right? Because there can be uh, hundreds of alternative currencies, cryptocurrencies, all the rest. But the underlying tool, that, that underlying blockchain platform, does have a lot of upside for a wide array of industries. And it certainly appears to be a growing trend. In fact, in PricewaterhouseCoopers 2018 Global Blockchain Survey, they found that 84% of companies are dabbling in blockchain. So what does that tell us about where they are now in terms of their thinking about it and the future of this technology? Excellent point. And, and really, there are a huge number of firms who, who are uh, dabbling in this area, who are talking about it, who are trying to onboard it. But really, the, the most important point still in this area is for each firm to go in and to actually ID use cases, both internally and externally. Now, in terms of concerns, the study also listed trust, regulatory uncertainty, and compliance as roadblocks to widespread blockchain adoption. How is the industry overcoming those concerns and others? So the whole compliance conversation is still a, a ongoing dialogue because there are a, a huge number of interested parties in the U.S., internationally, and in different, in, in, in different industries who are interested in oversight and sort of making sure that as blockchain becomes more and more onboarded that all of the pre-existing rules are still honored. And what would you say the biggest misperceptions and challenges that come with blockchain? I would say that there are two. One um, is that there is a huge belief that the whole blockchain economy is built either for corporate accounting or for, or for corporate finance. And obviously there are some cases where it can be used in those areas, but really blockchain has upside for a huge number of different areas. And then two, uh, the underlying blockchain itself is, is unhackable as of right now, but that to actually use blockchain and to onboard it, there is hardware involved, there is there's software involved, and there are people involved. So at every point in that process, there are always risks for unethical actions. And, and speaking of unethical, we saw that in order to try and combat that, Sierra Leone became the first country to use blockchain in its elections back in March this year. And in fact, the U.S. state of West Virginia is also considering using it for its upcoming elections. So yeah. how much of a game changer could this be in terms of clamping down on corruption and irregularities when it comes to voting? It could really be a, a huge, I think, paradigm shift in how really the actual information on the actual voters themselves, and then how those votes are tallied and then stored actually go on, both here and internationally, for sure. Now, how are we mainly seeing blockchain being used at the moment, and what sort of potential does it offer in other sectors? I would say that really sort of the biggest areas where, where blockchain is currently being used is in the transportation, shipping, uh, corporate accounting, and corporate finance. But an area that that I'm watching is uh, healthcare, right? Because healthcare does have a lot of information on a huge number of different current IT systems. So blockchain could definitely have some upside there. And are there any countries or companies that are really leading the way in terms of adopting and using this technology? I would say that really, you know, right now, there are a handful of, of firms doing it. And the top one that does uh, always come to mind or, or is talked about most often is is IBM, right? They uh, they are currently doing a whole bunch of work in this area. All right, thank you so much, Sean Stein Smith of Lehman College at City University of New York.